Hey folks, Jay Real here at ebodyboarding.com. I am here to show you how to correctly put on booties and gloves. Yep, seems like a simple process, but there is a proper technique to doing this and a few hacks that I'm going to show you to make it easy and it'll become easier every time you do it. So let's start out with the booties. So these are bodyboarding booties. Uh, we call these fin booties. We sell them from both the Tribe and eBodyboarding brands. Same product, just different logo. So these are Tribe Kevlar swim fin booties. They have the Kevlar bottoms on them. Love to use these for swim fins. Now the same thing applies for surfing booties in terms of how to put booties on. So if you're a surfer and you're watching this and you're wearing surfing booties with the hard rubber sole, same tips apply. So these particular booties have the Velcro strap around the uh, top of the booty. So obviously you'd want to undo that. So let's talk about the first step. You want to roll up the leg of your wetsuit. Now I'm just folding it up actually. You can roll it too, but I find folding better. You want to roll it up kind of high because the booty's going to come up kind of high. Now you take the booty and you want to roll it down, okay? Particularly new booties. They're not stretched out yet. They're very tight. This is a brand new pair, so it's going to be a little harder to get these on. So what you want to do is stick your thumbs in after you've rolled them or folded them down, and you want to stretch that out and get it over your toes, right? You pull it up as far as you can, and the next thing you need to do is slide your thumbs back to the back of the booty and pull them over your heel. A lot of surfing booties have a pull tab on the back. You can use that to pull it over your heel. So once it's over your heel, pull your full foot all the way into the booty. You want to unfold it or roll it back up. Then, in the case of these booties, you want to take this Velcro strap and wrap it around. And you want to make sure that the hook and loop parts of the Velcro connect and match, right? You don't want overlap because then you get this rough area right here that will chew up the inside of your wetsuit. So you want to make sure that overlaps all the way so you don't have that problem. Okay, once the booty's on, then you can roll or unfold the leg of your wetsuit over the top of the booty and you have a nice tight seal. I won't do the other one for you because I'm going to move into gloves. So similar process with gloves. You want to roll or fold up the sleeve of your wetsuit. And again, you want to get it up as high as you can. I'm doing mine three folds. And you want to do both of these before you put the gloves on. Okay, and I'll tell you why in a second. So you want to make sure you do both of these, get them all the way up, both sleeves folded up. I like to do my dominant hand first because I have the most dexterity in particular in my right hand and that will help me to get my left glove on more easily. So I'm going to put my hand into the glove. This seems pretty simple. I don't necessarily fold these down because I need something to grab onto. So I stick my hand in and I wiggle it in gently. You don't want to crank that thing in because if you pull on this part of the glove, you could pop a seam and the glove will leak. So I kind of gently wiggle my hand in. And once it's about halfway in, I'll stick my thumb in and reach as far in as I can and grab it in the middle of the palm, pinch my finger and my thumb together and help with this process to pull it in. And that again keeps you from stressing any of these seams down here near the opening of the glove too much. Be slow and gentle with putting on gloves. There's a lot of little corners and seams that can pop open and that'll make the glove leak. So once again, get the glove all the way on. Make sure your fingers uh, are all the way into the finger holes of the glove. You want the uh, the webbing parts to, to connect with the webbing of your fingers, right? So that's how you know a glove is a good fit. Then once you have that glove on, you want to unroll it all the way down and you have a nice seal for your glove. Okay, now we move to the left glove. This is a little trickier 
because you have fat fingers and thumbs now because they're covered in a glove. It's a little harder to get them in there. So once again, I stick my thumb in there, slowly, gently wiggle my hand in. Now I'm halfway in. It's hard to get this down in there to grab the middle of the palm. So what I'll do is I'll use my knee and I'll push the glove on my knee and that helps me to work my hand into the glove without stressing the seams. I make sure it's all the way in there and then once again, boom, roll it down. Okay, so then you get the tight seal. Now, to get all of this stuff off, start with your gloves. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in here and you're gonna unroll it. You don't have to do a perfect job to unroll it. You just have to get up to the top of the glove right there. And then once you can get your thumb in there, you can slowly work it around your hand. And you want to, if you're doing this, you want to do it very slowly and gently, just a little bit at a time. You want to work these off really slow. Cause once again, the seams and the gloves will pop very easily. And then you just pull that one off and then you do the same with the other glove. So hopefully that helps you learn how to correctly put on booties and gloves and taking them off is basically just reversing the process.